Whoopsie. Mara Lowe. She says it was an honest mistake. Yeah. Do you believe it? Do you believe her? Well, my suspicions would have been raised by the upside down letters. She okay. honestly bought a Louis Vuitton piece of clothing. Well, That's only if Louis Vuitton honesty. is spelt upside down. Yeah. yeah. My suspicions? The suit. There's no way Louis Vuitton would make everything from jacket, t-shirt, yeah. you know, underwear. You, you can you get know. anything Louis Vuitton on the Matching fake market. Bag. But you see, you don't know that that LV actually stands for Louis Vermeulen. It's not, it's not, a, it's not Louis Vuitton. It's Louis Versace. Yeah. It's no, Louis she's, Versace. She says, to give her credit, let's give her the benefit of the doubt, she says she bought it ages ago at a boutique. Okay, well, this is the story. In, in the Sunday newspapers, Mara Lowe was caught... On TV, during an idol's TV session, mm-hmm. wearing a fake Louis Vuitton jacket. Correct. And uh, Louis Vuitton, the Louis Vuitton people, said, so we can see, that's not real. <laughs> yeah. She <laughs> said, well, she bought it at a boutique. Mm. Now, as far as I know, this is just as far as I know. Okay. Only Louis Vuitton sells Louis Vuitton. Yes. Well, not not yeah. Louis Hong Kong. And yeah. yeah. And if you're going to buy a Louis Vuitton jacket, mm. and it doesn't cost you... 50,000 rand Yes Then you know There's a little bit Of a problem Yeah Unless it costs A bazillion rand It isn't Louis Vuitton Yes And now they've asked her well, What is the latest They've asked her They've said she, No she's undertaken Never to wear it On television again Yeah And she And they would like To know where she got it Because they have Special spotters mm. To go and sort of Clamp down on the fake stuff And she says As I said She bought it Ages and ages and ages ago At some boutique Now you must understand That Louis Vuitton Is probably the most Ripped off brand In the entire world Yeah and uh, we don't necessarily believe that she bought it from some boutique somewhere. Yeah. We seem to believe that she bought it from Bruma Lake. So here's a little parody with myself, Bongs, Bailey Schneider, and oh. Brad O'Regan, the evening producer. We put a nice little parody together for Marlo to this tune. Pretend that Louis Vuitton at Bruma Lake is not a fake I could really use a bag right now, a suit right now, a hat right now Can we pretend that Louis Vuitton at Bruma Lake is not a mistake? I could really use a watch right now, a purse right now, a scarf right now Drop it! This ain't no pit bull track this is a new kid on the block. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna tear this track up right now. The name's Rottweiler. <laughs> in the front of my shop, I have a nasty place rack. But come over here, you wanna see what's in the back. The logo, you know, is upside down. And the color's not the right shade of brown. <laughs> Hundreds of bags of things Vuitton don't make. You take one look and say, that's a pretty good fake. Hey, Sandra, what do you think, doll? No one will know. It's a pretty good fake. Can we pretend that Louis Vuitton at Bruma Lake is not a fake? I could really use a bag right now, a suit right now, a hat right now. Can we pretend that Louis Vuitton at Bruma Lake is not a mistake? I could really use a watch right now, a purse right now, a scarf right now. Oh, yeah. We got Ed Hartley and Kevin Klein. True origin are all brands of mine. You name it, we fake it. Our labels don't lie. Our prices beat the rest, but our spelling's not the best. The parking's free, go grab a fork. The only thing genuine is sweet and sour pork. You say it's original, you say it's real. Here's a 300 rand note to seal the deal. Can we pretend that Louis Vuitton at Bruma Lake is not a fake? I could really use a bag right now, a suit right now, or a hat right now. Can we pretend that Louis Vuitton at Bruma Lake is not a mistake? I could really use a watch right now, a purse right now, a scarf right now. Yeah. All right, let's pretend Marlo never had to defend. Let's pretend things that would have been no different. Pretend she procrastinated and couldn't judge her fashion. Pretend she just made excuses that were so paper thin they could blow away with the wind. Marlo, you're never gonna fake it. Makes no sense to play the game. There ain't no way that you win. Pretend she just stayed inside and skipped boomer with friends. Pretend she even had a friend to ask, "What you wearing?" And Bailey sings. Can we pretend that Louis Vuitton at Bruma Lake is not a fake? 
I could really use a bag right now, a suit right now, a hat right now. Can we pretend I'm Louis Vuitton at Bruma Lake? Is not a mistake. I could really use a watch right now, a purse right now, a stuff right now. So, Mara, what do you think of this beautiful fake Louis Vuitton jacket? Yo, you're absolutely divine, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, please. I love it. I think that song made Mara start crying. She cries a lot. JC says, Mara's disappointed and you don't get her vote. <laughs> you know what I would like to do? The next Idol show or the final show, we can take the whole crew that sang on that song. Awesome. And we can do it at the final show. Wouldn't that be mm. great? I don't think. Do you th Gary, do you think you can pull some strings at Eminem? Yeah, I'll pull some strings you guys can do. And I cry. Why, why, why? That one. <laughs> the remix. Love it.